deedy. Right, let's get straight into it. Um, it is really not that hard of a mission, to be honest. There's a lot going on in it, but it's not that hard. The boss is a bit shit, to be honest, if anything. It's just, it's just like one of those things. It's like a flying monkey robot with guns and shields and whatnot. And this is a little awesome cutscene. You come along in your R wings, you and your squad, and you're like scaring off the monkey robot things. Alright, let's do this. Let's back up the squadron. Let's hit some of these monkey things. Oh god. I got one of them. Come on, monkey dudes. I'm no good at hitting anything on this mission. Oh, there's a gold ring down there. We're going to need that and we can get our extended health bar. So you can lock onto this guy here. And he gets you, I think he gets you, uh, uh, yeah, more lasers. But we've already got the top lasers we can get. I can't shoot any of those things. <laughs> oh god, I'm terrible. Boom. Bombs dropping on this ship and there it goes. Oh, god, it's a surprise attack from above. Don't worry, Peppy, I got it sorted. Oh, I missed half of those ones on the left. I like uh, this lock-on feature as well, because not only is it sort of, you know, lazy for per uh, for people who don't want to aim, uh, it is great uh, in the sense that it can take out multiple enemies. Oh, another golden ring. If you get three of these when you have the uh, extra health bar, you should get, um, you should get an extra life. Although, I mean... It's probably best just to save two up, so that you only have to get one gold ring on the next um, mission, because they, they carry over, they do. Oh god. Uh, they carry over, and um, making it very sort of easy to get yourself uh, a, what's called, a bigger health bar earlier on in the next mission. And there's another one. Checkpoint, let's get that quickly. Trying to get all the enemies I can as well. Fuck you, monkey guys. I think they're supposed to be monkey robots. Oh wow, these get you points. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. Oh god! Two of these blue ones. They're badasses. Look at them, somersault. Wow, that's a lot of monkeys. Oh, you can't lock onto them. I don't even think you can shoot them. I think they're just there to be intimidating. Oh. Oh, God, I'm taking a lot of fire there. Oh, I just barrel roll most of the time and shoot. That way uh, their lasers get deflected and there's only very few weapons that can sort of hit you then. I probably damage myself uh, more than the enemy do by crashing constantly. <laughs> God. Ugh. See, I was trying to get these things down here. I nearly crashed again. Right. Oh, sneaky monkey. Oh, I crashed into him. <laughs> oh, there's a red one. Oh, God. He's powerful. He's taking a lot of shit. Come on. Oh, I got him. Alright. So, yeah, it took me a long time to uh, reconfigure my controller. It did. It took. Ah. Oh, there we go. We should get an extra life now. I probably shouldn't have done that there. Wasn't thinking. Um, yeah, it, it, I had to uh, fiddle around, and some buttons think they're other buttons, um, which is really weird for the way it's configured. So uh, what I've had to do was just use some of the um, GameCube's extra buttons that went on the N64 um, as you know, like triggers. So right now my Y and Z. Actually, I'm not even using the left trigger, I don't think. Most games don't use the left trigger, though, I've noticed. Oh, I might... Oh, I've got so many ideas for Let's Plays now. I've got a controller. Um, what does my X do? My X doesn't do anything. I don't think I have that assigned to anything. Um, oh, God. So, yeah. Uh, basically, I'm not using the actual triggers on the controller, considering um, there's a, a load of problems with them. And I'm actually using the D-pad as the C buttons, because the rotational C... Uh, is also very buggy on the GameCube controller trying to configure it with Project uh, 64. Uh, it took a hell of a long time going through different forums and that. 
um, looking on videos and that. And so that, that, that was only a, mi a mini boss. Um, here's the actual boss, and he's a bit more difficult because he dodges around and he does a lot, a lot of different stuff. Um, so there you go, you've got the actual boss thing on the map rather than those two little white dots. Can you lock onto this boss? No, I don't believe you can. Just take some shots at him. Oh god, barrel roll, barrel roll. Oh, no, he's dead instantly. I thought I thought he was harder. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm wrong. I'm very, very wrong. Oh well. So that's the second mission. Oh, well, the alternate second mission. Of course, the second mission, if you just played it through normally on the first mission, would be the asteroid field, which I kind of enjoy more as a mission. But I want to try and take a, a little bit of an alternate path, especially considering this next mission coming up that we've got should probably be about 10,000 times better than the other third mission, if you go the other way. So we'll probably eventually sort of link back up with the sort of same route as you would end up in if you were taking the original path uh, anyway so you know I don't really wanna because the last time I tried to do this let's play I, I gave up on it entirely because um, I had the hard version of Andros and uh, I retried it so many times that uh, eventually I just realized I was not gonna be able to do it because he just kept messing me up <laughs> big time and it wasn't too easy oh wow that's not often that that happens. Did we get over 100 points on that? We must have done. Yeah, I think we did. Oh yeah, we got 112 on that. So, which means, instead of going to a different planet that I thought we were going to go to... Oh, okay, then we're going down quite a hard path now, but... I think this is the underwater one, which... This will be quite cool. Uh, 